And have you ever watched a film from your childhood and felt a wave of nostalgia only to realize that some scenes didn't age quite like fine wine? You know, the original X-Men trilogy is a classic, a cornerstone in the realm of superhero cinema. However, some moments spark a chuckle rather than admiration today. Imagine being a devoted fan of the comics. The excitement of seeing beloved characters come to life on screen was palpable. But then, scenes like Kitty Pride's battle with the Juggernaut left many feeling perplexed. What could have been a thrilling showdown that turned into a farcical chase, diluting Juggernaut's formidable reputation? And as we revisit the original trilogy, it's, it's hard not to notice that while these films were trailblazer, certain scenes haven't held up well, and the groundbreaking effects of the early 2000s now feel less impactful against today's visual storytelling. One can't help but appreciate the genre's evolution alongside advancements in technology and storytelling. The journey and journey began in 2000 with X-Men introducing us to the complex world of mutants, fighting for acceptance. The film explored heavy themes of prejudice and identity, particularly in this X2 X-Men United, which received the accolades for its depth. Yet as we progressed to the last stand, it felt like the drop the ball and impactful moments, the resonance in the audiences, and there's there's going to be some businesses that uh, that audiences that work, uh, you know that. Uh, and take the infamous exchange about costumes in the original film. Cyclops's quip, or perhaps you'd prefer yellow jumpsuits, was a tongue-in-cheek acknowledgement of the comic's bright spandex. Fast forward to the present, fans often wonder if we should have ventured down that more colorful path. And modern superhero films hardly flinch at employing comic-accurate costumes making those early decisions appear quaint, if not questionable. As the genre matured, viewers clearly desired authenticity and nostalgia source of the originals. When the lemon designer, John made it, poured back to the exit, and most popular examined means the original great movie is... And who can forget Wolverine's introduction to the team? Professor X formally presents each member by their code names which today feels unbearably stiff. Wolverine's reaction might resonate more now. He is practically imploring with his famous line about how ridiculous it all sounds. And the awkwardness of such interactions highlights how much superhero films have evolved in narrow sophistication. Viewers today enjoy seamless integration of character development with flashy plots. One glaring issue persists. The odd intricacies surrounding Mystique, her infiltration of Xavier's school without a whisper to the powerful telepath, feels implausible. The universe later explores their rich history, making the initial oversight more glaring. And Halle Berry's storm taking on Toad is another moment that failed to land. Ever heard what happens to a Toad struck by lightning may have aimed for memorable, but it feels more forced than fierce. And at the Jean Grey sacrifice in X2 was intended to have emotional weight, but it missed the mark for many. Jean's selflessness set the stage for her transformation into the Dark Phoenix. Now, however, the build-up was shallow, making the moment feel more like a plot device than a heartfelt goodbye. Uh, in the last stand, the de-aging technology for Xavier and Magneto's flashback scene was innovative for its time, but now stands out as clunky and awkward. Instead of drawing us in, we become aware of the technology rather than the emotional context. Now Cyclops meets an unfortunate fate early in the story, sacrificing depth for shock, diminishing the intensity of his relationships, especially with Jean Grey. It felt like a hurried decision that left many wondering what could have been. When Beast meets Leech, his transformation back to human highlights a poignant moment. Yet, knowing that he had previously concocted a cure, cast a shadow over the significance encounter, such inconsistencies pull viewers out of the moment and into a frame of disbelief. And normally I could be just link true disappointment in Kitty Pride, Juggernaut's chase. Originally a fierce combatant, Juggernaut's portrayal evolved into a caricature chasing Kitty through walls as if in an ant identity that had gone Broadway. And it was a comedic misstep 
undermining the seriousness of the entire narrative. Lastly, Xavier's supposed death and later resurrection left audiences scratching their heads. In X-Men The Last Stand, the manner of his return raised more questions than it answered, making his supposed demise seem like an afterthought, rather than a meaningful narrative arc. If you enjoy exploring the highs and lows of superhero storytelling, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that like button. It ensures you won't miss out on more reminiscences of classic film moments, both good and bad. After all, where else can you witness a toad getting hit by lightning? Maybe they'll learn to dance next. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.